Now, before we get started, it's always a good idea to give each person a chance to introduce themselves. And when we do that, we always like to give you a little information. So what's a question that you might want to ask someone, but you probably wouldn't ask it on the first date, but maybe on the second or third date? Favorite yeah. salad dressing. I heard favorite salad dressing. <laughs> favorite salad dressing. Don't ask that on the first date. That is way out of line. But on the second date, yeah, fine. Uh, let's start on the end. State, state your name and your favorite salad dressing. Hi everyone, my name is Zoe and I make an absolutely incredible uh, cilantro lime dressing that is great on a cabbage slaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Erica, and I'm pretty basic. I like ranch. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole, and I think it's like zesty Italian or something like that. Uh, ben, ketchup. <laughs> my name is also Erica, and my favorite dressing is also ranch. So. <laughs> My name is Adam, and I'd go for anything balsamic. So. All right. So to get started tonight, we always like to start with a game that involves all of our players. And uh, you're here on an interesting night because we're going to inaugurate a new opening game that we have never done on this stage yet, uh, despite being here for a few months. And it is called My Movie. So if we could get a little choral arch, please. Now I'm going to be the conductor of this, and what's going to happen is. Uh, they're going to propose some movie titles. And if I like one of those movie titles, I might ask for the tagline that advertises that movie. And if I really like the tagline, we may even see a scene from that movie. So to inspire us and to limit us a little bit, uh, what is your first initial? K. And what is your first initial? E. K-E. Every one of these movie titles has to be a two-word title, that starts with a K and then an E. <laughs> Liars, are you ready? Yes. yes. Killer elephants. Kind enemies. Kangaroos <laughs> eating. <laughs> Hermit's end. Tagline. It's not always a rainbow connection. <laughs> Let's see. Miss <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Kitty, I'm so glad that you brought me out here to this volcano so I can look down onto the the world. Oh, Kermie, did you sign that life insurance policy? Well, yes, I did. I added you because now we are married like you made me marry you. Yes. yes. I'm just going to lean right over this broiling hot inferno. Hi! Ah! <laughs> All right. My movie, my movie, my movie. Same letters? Same letters. Crusty eggplants. <laughs> okay. Kaleidoscope of everything. Tagline. Don't look if you can't handle seeing it. Ooh, I didn't mean to see that. Mom gave me this kaleidoscope, but she said never to look in it. Do it! Do, do it. it! Do it! Do it! Do we it. have to know if he's cheating on you. <laughs> All right, here I go. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, no, he is. Oh, can I watch? <laughs> hey! Wait, let me see. Yeah! Oh, dang! Hey. Ooh, here you go, Chad. Oh my gosh. Stop looking at my boyfriend. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Actually, you know what? Take another look. Okay, okay thank everything, you. right? Yeah. Yeah, do you like that part? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you initials. What's your first initial? Uh, M. What's your last initial? G. M. G. Ready? My, my movie, movie, my movie, movie, my movie. Made grapevines. <laughs> Meet and greet. <laughs> Marriage gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know which one to pick, just pick the one that doesn't kill you. <laughs> Magic gonads. The monkey god. Tagline. This monkey rules them all. What really is evolution? <laughs> Messenger groundhog. Tagline. Oh, oh, pigeons can't always cut it. Let's see it. In the heat of the war. Can't take those flying rats seriously. No. You gotta use someone like Philip. Oh. Look at that beautiful. beauty. Yeah. We're just gonna huck it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta let him bury underground. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I was gonna throw it. Through the air. Oh, okay. A pigeon. Okay. okay. I was good. Cool. Well, write a note. Okay, put it. Leave. Release. 
Fredrickson from the POW camp. Please. Please. They like to get very polite. Hold it up. Just put it in his mouth. But what if he yeah. drops it? Put it up there, look. I'm sorry. Okay, put it in his mouth. Pigeon. I'm home. <laughs> Let's get one more set of initials. Uh, in the back corner, what is your first initial? H. And next to it, what is your last initial? Uh, N. You had to think about that, didn't you? HN, <laughs> HN, a my movie, my movie, my movie. 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 Handsome Nichols. Hidden Nougat. <laughs> Tagline. It's hidden. It's nougat. <laughs> Harmonious necrophiliac. <gasps> Hark. No! Tagline. <laughs> Don't let it get you. <laughs> Hell no. So oh, that's the wrong letter. <laughs> Happy normals. Tagline. Who even is that? <laughs> Harry nobodies. <laughs> Hollywood knows. <laughs> Hungry knows. <laughs> Tagline. The nose went through town, sniffing and sucking everything up. Let's see that. <laughs> it's deep. Thank you. So oh, powerful and ever so mighty. I'm the first sorcerer of noses. I'm a noser, sir. Uh, your your dinner of steak and also of, of pizza. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> and scents for you. Scents of vanilla and feet. About the potpourri for you, master. No, take it away. <laughs> All right, that's that, Ruby. All right, let's switch to another game. Let me have three of you on three of you all. Let's keep Ben... Erica C. and Zoe. All right. All right. So we're going, we're going to go from movies to TV. Uh, I, uh, by a show of hands, who here has ever watched Jeopardy? Okay. And you're all going to be real familiar with what we're about to do, because we're going to do our version of Improv Jeopardy. Uh, yeah, let's get a few stools out here. No reason that our contestants need to stand all the time. Uh, the way this is going to work is just like Jeopardy, we're going to get a series of answers to questions, and then we're going to hear what those questions are. And whoever gets it right will gain control of the board, and we'll just play for a while and see what happens. But before we get started, let's meet our contestants. At podium number one, our returning champion, here for her fifth show, please introduce yourself. Thank you for having me back. My name, of course, is Raven, and I am an Instagram witch. <laughs> well, Raven, we've gotten to know you pretty well over the last five days, but one question I've yet to ask you is, before you were an Instagram witch, were you a witch of any other kinds? I don't know why I would do that. No one could see it. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course, we always need some challengers, so at podium number two, we have our first challenger. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name's George. I uh, I run a I run a factory. I make uh, I make sneakers. <laughs> American-made sneakers. Wow. Yep. They're That's... not very good though. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm new. I'm a new entrepreneur. I, I see. Okay. Uh, if you're a new entrepreneur, the obvious question: What was your previous occupation? Oh, huh. I dug ditches. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I just dug ditches. George dug yeah. ditches. Yeah. I'm kind of an entrepreneur too. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. Maybe. Okay. But before we get going, we still need to meet our third contestant at podium number three. Who do we have? Uh, my name is Beauregard. Um, I drag queen, uh, drag race, drag queens. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Did you say you drag race or you drag clean? Yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, and uh, where exactly do you do this photo guard? Um, next to where she did the dishes. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's kind of a following situation. Sure. <laughs> we got a big county. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. All right, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start our game. Players, if you would stand up at your buzzers. We always start with our returning champion, Raven. You have control. Absolutely. I'll take history for 100. 
history for 100, the answer is, that's where you come in. A burnt toast. Burnt, that's clearly history, burnt toast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, George. Oh, that's what you smell before you have an epileptic seizure. Burnt toast. <laughs> I don't think so. Bing. Yes, Raven. What do you call a terrible bridesmaid speech? A burnt toast. <laughs> that's what we were looking for. Are you have control again. I'll take history for 200. History for 200, the answer is? George Clooney. George, another star figure. <laughs> George Clooney. Uh, yes, uh, Beauregard. Uh, who would I spy from in, from his tree? George Clooney. <laughs> Somehow that's what we were looking for. You have control of the board, my friend. Um, I I'll take uh, famous battles for 100. Famous battles for 100. The answer is? Megiddo. 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 Ah, ah. Yes, George. What I say when I go to the store. Megiddo. <laughs> you don't know why, but that was the answer. <laughs> yeah, the board. Uh, can I get uh, big trucks for 200, please? <laughs> big trucks, and the answer is? Tonka. Tonka. <laughs> Oh, yes, Raven. What is the best kind of vanilla bean? Tonka. Apparently <laughs> not, although someone in the cast is lovely. <laughs> yes, Beauregard. What do we call the first kiss in my county? Tonka. <laughs> Again, correct. You have control the board. Um, thank you. Um, let, let's take a uh, famous uh, outfits for 100. Famous outfits for 100. The answer is? 18. 1800s. 18? 18 is the first answer I heard in famous outfits. 18. Yep, I think that was Beauregard. Um, how many beers can I toss back in a weekend? 18. I don't think that's what we wanted. I was lying. <laughs> but, uh, oh, Raven, I think you just made it in there. How many adolescents does it take to screw in a light bulb? 18. <laughs> no, I don't think that was it either, George. Uh -oh. uh, optimal amount of wheels on a truck. 18. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. You've got control of the board. Uh, I'm going to go for b bodies of water. For, how much? for 400. Please. Bodies of water for 400. The answer is? Frog pond. Frog pond? Frog pond. Buzz. Yes, Raven. What's an important ingredient to use when you're hexing your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, apparently that's it. You got control again. I'll take movies for 400. Movies for 400. The answer is? Apollo 13. Apollo 13. Apollo 13 is the answer. <laughs> Buzz. Yes, Raven. What is the 13th best Apollo? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were going. That's why you were a champion. Please go ahead and choose again. I'll take movies for 500. Movies for 500. Oh, That's... that sound you didn't hear means that this is time for our audio clue. So instead of a word or a phrase, I need a an inarticulate sound. So someone in the audience, what's the sound that's the answer to this question? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to try to repeat that. You heard it. <laughs> that was the answer. What was the question? Buzz. Yes. What is the opening sound to Fiddler on the Roof? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it was. I saw a different version. <laughs> you have control of the board. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I liked fashion. I'll take fashion for 400. Fashion for 400. Victorian, er Victorian era. Victorian era. Victorian era. Yes, Beauregard. Uh, what do I wear when I'm drag queen drag racing? <laughs> <laughs> you wear the Victorian era, apparently. And then, oh, I'm afraid we are out of time, so just as in the game show on TV, we are down to final jeopardy. So players, if you will put down your buzzers and pick up those electronic pens, we're going to give you a time to answer the following, and the final jeopardy category is reverse. And anybody have a clue in the category reverse? Uno. Uno. Uno is the answer. Uno. Okay, as with the show, we need to give them some time to come up with their answers. All three of you have to. Da, 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 da. 
da 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 all right, players, pens down, as I see you already have, Bogart, thank you. Uh, the final Jeopardy answer was Uno. What was your question, Reem? How would you rank rose quartz in order of importance crystal-wise? <laughs> Uno. That might be what we were going for, but we'll see. George, what was your answer? How much I bought my latest uh, skitter for? Uno. <laughs> Ooh, that's a close one, uh, but Beauregard, we haven't heard from you yet. Uh, how many times did my mother have sex with my biological father? Well, oh. <laughs> regard, I think you are a real Jeopardy champion. Congratulations, and that's our game. Assume the triangle position. We are going to play a little game called Pen Left, Pan Right. The way this game is going to work is we're going to do three scenes simultaneously. Uh, the first two people that you see will be doing one scene, but at any point I can say Pan Left. And then you will be seeing a completely different scene with these two people. Again, I might say Pan Left. And you will be watching yet a third scene. Now when I come back to a scene, for example, if I said pan right, we'll be returning to the scene that these two people were doing, but at a later moment in time. It might be five seconds later, five minutes later, five years later, we don't know. All right, to get us started though, we're going to need some suggestions. So for this first scene that we have right here, what is a way that two people might know each other? Coworkers. Coworkers. Pan left. And for this scene, what is a common location that you can find in any state in the union? Supermarket. A supermarket. Supermarket. And left. And for this scene, what is an object that is small enough and light enough that I could actually carry it in my hands? A baby. Poster. I heard a baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> and left. All right, now one last little gimmick here that makes this more fun for us. Whoever spoke last, before I say pen left, the first person to speak in the next scene must use that same line in the context of their scene. So once again, let's repeat our suggestions. Here we have... Co-workers! Pen left. Supermarket. Pen left. Baby! Excellent. Pen left and players, are you ready? Yes. yes! Begin. You're doing it wrong again. You always do it wrong. It's a, it's a cheeseburger. How can, you, how can you mess it up? Ainsley, if you look at that cheeseburger, the cheeseburger's looking back at you with eyeballs that you did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, I feel seen by this burger right now, okay? <laughs> You have dreams beyond this McDonald's. That's not okay. Pen left. That is not okay. I'm so sorry, but like this cantaloupe is my cantaloupe. So I will just remove it from your car. Uh, Thank you so much. Oh my God, excuse me. Uh, I spent like 15 minutes examining the perfect cantaloupe. So I will uh, just oh, take that oh. right back over here. Sorry, could you just not touch my cantaloupe? Pan left. <laughs> Sorry, could you just like not touch my cantaloupe? I mean, it's, it's what I call the baby, and I know it's a weird thing to call a baby who's not even here, and it's like, no, I'm gonna even eat the baby, but don't. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I just, I just get so excited when I see, when I see, you know, pregnant women. It just gets me so. It just, it's, it makes me really happy. Pan <laughs> left. It just makes me really happy. Why can't you just like let me be with this cheeseburger? That cheeseburger's been sitting out for three weeks. <laughs> no. It smells rank. Do you, do you, I named it. It has a name now, okay? It understands me, I'm like you. You're saying I don't care? That's how I feel right now. Pamela. A 
just how I feel right now is um, that time when we met and we were fighting over the cantaloupe. I remember it. Yeah, I feel like we're doing that all over again. And we've been through like three years of couples therapy, you know? And I just I just don't know if like I can even share a cantaloupe with you anymore. Let's try. Oh, I mean. Yeah, I'm I'm not feeling this. Get in left! <laughs> I'm not feeling this! I don't want you in my delivery room, lady! Okay. You, you've been following me around for two months now! Yeah. I thought that I thought you told me that I could be your um doula. That's what you're I said go away! Get in left. <laughs> I said go away! We're we're getting married this weekend! Okay? I know it's not normal to be married to a piece of food, but it happens! I just wish you would marry me instead! Hand left! <laughs> I just wish that you would marry me instead. No. I'm, so, I, 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 I'm sure you're very happy with the cantaloupe farmer. I'm sure. <laughs> but, but what does he give you that I didn't give you? Cantaloupe every day. <laughs> is that it? Is that all you need? Hand left. <laughs> is that it? Is that all you need? Take the baby. <laughs> Just don't kill me. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I, I have been far, <laughs> baby. Tomorrow we do a whole new show, <laughs> and we might even do that same game, but let's see what our next game is. Uh, ooh, let me get Erica and Erica and Whitney. Yay. Yay. Uh, okay, but don't get too comfortable because we're going to send you out of the room. So why don't you head over to that side of the stage. All of them. All of them. Because yep. yes. we're going to play the game of Blind Line. solid scene for you but it would be too easy to just let them do any old scene so we're gonna come up with some lines of dialogue that they're going to have to incorporate into their scene at random points without knowing what they are so to get us started what's a what's a movie quote other than I'll be back big gulps all right say that again big gulps huh Big gulps, huh? Big gulps, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, well, I know that. Well, wait, wait, wait. She's got it. She's got it. All right. Uh, what's another movie from this side? What's another movie quote? I can't quit you. I can't quit you. She gets to do that one too. No, you get that one. It's because I look at her doesn't mean I'm leaving you out. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm so cool, Beth. All right. Uh, how about a piece of advice that some wise relative gave you that you think is a good piece of advice? Pay off your credit card every month. Pay off your credit card every month. What's a, what's a bad piece of advice? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Ben gets that one. Yes, I do. All right. Uh, let's, uh, let's go with what's uh, a line from a song? I love you, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I love you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three years. Uh, what's another song lyric? Can't get no satisfaction. Can't get no satisfaction. Oh, that's six. That should probably be good. Okay. What was that? We're dating ourselves. Whatever. Okay. Well, but what was it? What was the line? We were just talking about the last lines. Can't get no oh. satisfaction. Oh, okay. Just talking about something. You know what? Do we have one more piece of paper there? Yes, we do. Let's write down. We're dating ourselves. We're dating. We're dating ourselves. I like that. We're dating ourselves. All right, now they are going to strew these uh, random lines and random places on the stage. 
speech, so please feel free to go ahead and do that. Ben, I'll take yours. I don't want to do it. You, guys you want to do it? I don't want to do it. Oh, you don't want it? I'm lazy. <laughs> All right. But it won't be much of a scene without players, so we got to get them back. On three, let's yell and get back in here. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Started. It's good to get an audience suggestion and kick it off. So, uh, Whitney? Yes. Go ahead. Can I get a word that starts with the letter R? Raccoon. Raccoon is the first one I heard. Great. Great. All right, players, the game is blind line. Suggestion is raccoon. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Begin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more afraid of you than you are of me. <laughs>
Oh yeah, we're back in. Let's review. We have Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Groot. <laughs> Wait, was it Gru or Groot? Groot. 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 So I can all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll make it work. It'll be great. Thank you. Yeah, we might have to give Groot a power speech. <laughs> yeah, I hope we can. A rock. All right. Okay. Now, when she gets back in, she's going to do the whole game, and at the end, when she tries to figure out who they are, if she gets a right answer, I want to hear that explosive number 10 audience support. But if she gets it wrong, I want everybody to kind of like inhale for a second, like they're going to do that, and then go, no! <laughs> because that's fun for me. All right. On three, let's get her back in here. One, two, three, get back in here! Yeah! barrier that you cannot see through, <laughs> yep. there are three eligible singles, all hoping that you will choose them for this date. But before we get started, introduce yourself to our audience. Uh, hi everybody, uh, I'm Erica. I have bad taste in men, I date <laughs> raccoons. Okay, well, uh, how about, what's your name? <laughs> Erica. Oh, you're going to Erica. Okay. All right. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, Erica, um, tell us about one of your uh, for your prior dating experiences. Oh well, um, I I went on a date once. I call it the awkward taco date. Uh, he bought me tacos. They were delicious. Uh, but on the way home, he kept trying to pull my hair. Uh, and he wore a pork pie hat, and he showed me his uh, his boiled eggs that he'd made in his bedroom. <laughs> and he made cheese, and he made beer in his bedroom too. So his whole house had to smell like cheese <laughs> and eggs and beer. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then he wore a pork pie hat to lunch. How, this is like, how long did that relationship last? Oh, just lunch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, that could be her husband for all no. I know. Just checking. He went in for a kiss, and I was like, whoop, no. <laughs> So uh, you know the way the game is played. I'm yes. going to get you ask a series of questions, and based on those answers, you are going to choose one and only one of our eligible singles for your date. Do you have your first question prepared? Yes. Go ahead. Bachelor number one. Uh, what's one what of your favorite things to do on a first date that's not expected? Yeah, hi, wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> so glad you asked. Uh, dating can be hard. Complicated history here. Uh, if we went on a first date, I would take you to the best coffee shop around. It's not weird that I hang out there all day. No one has any follow-up questions about that. And then, unexpected, I would take you shopping at Nordstrom's and dress you up. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, sounds fun. Yeah, it's yeah. a big first date. Yeah, great. Uh, same question for number two, uh, bachelor number two. <clears throat> Uh, what were you taking on a first date and what would be unexpected? Yes, uh, first I want to acknowledge the unexpected. Clearly, I am suddenly able to speak now and um, <laughs> I, I'm very happy that my, my friends, the inventor, you know, that rich man with the thing in his heart thing, who is a metal man. <laughs> he, he made me a translator situation and I'm very pleased with it. <laughs> Now, <laughs> as I mentioned, I've got a lot of friends who do things, and I think I would, I would, yes, they're my friends, not yours, very territorial, um, I, I think I would have them take me, have you take me, speaking is really tough for me, I'm, I'm not used to it yet, I'm so sorry, um, there's a planet of trees, okay, we would go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My family. Trees. Trees and, uh, yeah, English is tough. I am sad. Tissue <laughs> <laughs> right. paper. Oh, so That's my skin. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, single number two. If you could just calm yes. down a little. Uh, what's your question for number three? Um, same question. If you could take me on a date, where we go and we'll be unusual about it. Um, hang out, get stoned. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the unusual thing. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I like it. All right, second um, round of questions. Um, okay, uh, contestant number uh, one, what is uh, what is some of your favorite hobbies? What do you enjoy doing with your spare time? Yeah, hi. Uh, I like going <laughs> skiing in Vail, for sure. Um, I really like when I'm dating someone, if we can come up with a cool way to combine our names together. That's always really fun for me. Um, and honestly, just like making a ton of money at my job. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> uh, contestant number two. I know words are hard, um, and I'm sorry, uh, but if... Uh, what 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 are some of your future goals? Future goals, all right. Well, if 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 I had a future that looks like anything, I I would probably hope that my friends and I can continue exploring space and getting bad guys. Uh, my best friend's a raccoon. I hope you didn't date him. <laughs> um, if he if he did if you did date him, that's fine. You know he would you would know your your eyeball would be gone and that's fine. Um, I just I. Uh, go see volcanoes and become one with them. <laughs> okay. Do you like all hot things? Sure. Okay, great. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's like getting blood from the stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh -huh. We got one more round of questions, so please make them count. What's your question for uh, single number one? Um, if... Uh, <laughs> If we could do anything, what would we do right now? We would hang out with my friends. They're the most important thing in the world to me, my friends, and possibly create an iconic haircut that everyone would get for about a decade. <laughs> okay, all right. Number one would be a good choice. She'll be there for you. That sounds great, yeah. Uh, uh, for number two. Contestant number two, are you still there? Okay. Rachel was never really my favorite. <laughs> I'd probably want to go with Phoebe, so sorry. Who right. is she? Rachel from Friends. Well, that's a huh? fictional character. This is a real person. Oh, Jennifer Aniston. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Jennifer Aniston. Right. Before you decide about number two, though, I do want to say it does not seem that number two is of age. So <laughs> true. We would yeah. send along the guardian on your date. That's I just want to make that clear. That's true. And Granted, if Groot's always going to space all the time, I think it's going to be hard for us to have a date, right? All right. I guess that means you've chosen single number three. And tell us why. I'm going to take that pet rock and put it on my desk. All right. All right. 